Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Southern Inkerbells. Uh, this is the card that I designed today for my Mojo Monday. I love Mondays. I get excited. It's the first thing I do when I wake up on Monday mornings. Run upstairs and see what the sketch is. And then as soon as nap time comes, I'm up here crafting something fun. This is what I came up with this week. Uh, you'll be able to see the sketch um, above this on the blog. Um, I chose to use my owls today because that is what the theme is for this week is our two-step owl punch and it's really neat it comes with all the pieces that it takes to make the owl so here's the owls well let's see out of the glare here here's the owl's body there's this little outfit here's a heart up here uh, big eyes and then the blacks at the middle and then the two little Two little white ones down here for the pupils. Um, it's a really neat punch, and of course, it shows on the front what the design is, and it has a nice little clip there so that you can store it flat. Really great. Um, we're also going to be using our two step bird punch, which is uh, we're just going to be using the leaf part of that today. So, those are the two punches we're going to talk about. Um, one thing, if you have our scallop circle die that runs in our big shot, that's how I made the base of the card today. And then I scored just along the back so that you would have a nice little bend in it. And that's how it will stand up, just like that. Um, it's a really neat card, and I'm pretty sure that it fits in our standard size envelope too, uh, which is even better. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about the colors. I'm very much color challenged and I'm so grateful to Stampin' Up! for coming up with the new color coach. It is so simple. It's only $10 and it has every single one of our colors plus the in colors in the back and now the in colors are good for two years instead of one year. Um, but I knew that I was using Always Artichoke for my leaves so what I did was I flip through until I find Always Artichoke, which is right here, and then I flipped, and I flipped it over, and on the back, it has a dynamic duo, which is the two colors, kind of a monochromatic. Uh, this is Always Artichoke, and this is River Rock. It's kind of hard to see. But then they also have, I wonder if I can zoom in, they have a creative combination, which in this case is Always Artichoke, Crumb Cake, and Bashful Blue. And then they have a sweet set, which is Artichoke, So Saffron, and Cajun Craze, which is what I use today. So I decided to go brown, and then saffron, and then Cajun with my colors. Um, had to use the blue for the background for the sky. But this is the neatest thing. I, I really, like I said, I'm very color challenged and there's even a place in the back for you to put color combinations that you like yourself that Stampin' Up! did not recommend. Um, I highly recommend this tool um, for those of you who don't have color sense just like me. Um, so that is how I decided my colors. Then, what I'm going to show you is how to make clouds, and you, I am so sorry to say, will not be able to see in on this card that there are white clouds in the back. I'm going to show you how to do it, and you can try it at home. Um, what I used is our white craft pad. Now, craft is different than classic. Our craft is a little juicier, and most people use it for embossing. Um, in this case, we don't have white classic ink, so you have to use craft. So just going to open that up. I've got my sponge dauber. I've talked about these a lot. And I just keep it over here to the side whenever I need it. And I'm just going to punch a good bit. And then I'm just going to... I don't know if you can... Maybe you can see that. I just kind of swirl it around. Swirl it around. Kind of swirl them together. And you won't be able to see this. Oh, I hate it that you can't see it, but maybe you can, I don't know, oh there's a, a glimmer. You'll be able to see that there is some texture and a little bit of color differentiation there. Um, you'll be able to see it when you try it yourself, but don't be intimidated by clouds because that is the easiest thing to do. Um, now the next thing I did, uh, let's see, maybe you can see kind of the clouds, you see a little bit of texture, 
on the back. I'm not sure. Um, another thing that you'll notice with this card versus this punch is this little piece right here. It's the little head piece. And I learned this from another lady. Um, that piece is not on our punch. So if you want to have a continuous color on their head too, and you don't have to, um, just punch out, punch out one of your owls, and then follow the line of the ears in both ways, and then you're just going to cut that out. And when I cut that out, I have this little piece right here, and and I just basically cut out a saffron piece and a Cajun piece out of this little part right here and stuck it right on top and it fits just like that and if it's any bigger than that it's fine too because it'll hide behind the eyes so that's how you um, add that piece up there because that's not completely intuitive since we don't have that on the punch here's another little thing I want to show you this is the leaf that I used to make our border here um, and again that came from our two-step bird punch uh, what I did, let me zoom in here, it's, remember we have a paintbrush end of our marker and a journaling end. So I'm going to use my paintbrush end and I am just going to color along the stem. And if you want it to be a full stem, that you'll see on a card that I'm doing later this week, you can do it like that. Um, then, if you want to get really fancy, it's not really that fancy, um, you can take the journaling edge and just do a quick little vein on the leaf, and that gives it just a little extra touch. Maybe you can see that. Ooh, this doesn't, I don't know how to focus this thing. Anyway, you see what I mean. Um, so that is kind of this card. So I'll be using those techniques in several of my cards this week. Uh, all week, two-step owl punch. Um, don't forget to score across the back, make some clouds, add a little hat, add some veins and color in the, um, the leaves, and add a fun wish. Um, a lot of these, I think these owls are so cute and some of them look kind of sad and so the get well wish is one that I've used a lot this week. So hopefully you learned a few things. Oh, one other thing. Um, the little eyes, the little eyes, they are very small and it's very difficult to put any adhesive on it. So if you want, you can use our white gel pen and just put a little circle of white gel pen. So that's actually not paper, that's um, ink or gel pen. Um, I also did sponge around the edges of the white and the blue just to give it a little more vintagey. And I did, and all my punch art, I take my dauber and sponge around every single piece just to um, make it look not so harsh. So hopefully you like my card. I'm very proud of it. Um, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.